What is up guys, it's Ian from Forward Progress Madden and today we're gonna show you day one how to throw a back shoulder fade target pass. Now this is really hard. I broke it down in the target passing tutorial. I showed a little snippet of what you can do with it and the internet went nuts. Everyone said target passing is OP, you gotta fix it. And most people hadn't even touched the game yet. I think once you guys are sitting down with the game and you try this yourself, you're gonna realize that it requires a lot of stick skill. Even more stick skill than honestly I have. I, I, I messed it up quite a bit, although I figured out how to make this throw. So it's something that I enjoy doing because I, I, I was able to find it and it's a really nice play on the outside, especially against man to man, especially if they're blitzing and they don't have any support for uh, the outside isolation route. So what we're gonna do is put the outside receiver on a fade, hold right trigger and tap his icon to make him the red route. That's your primary read on on the play. So when you snap the ball, the target is going to pull up relative to him. Now, what you want to do is you want to drag the target slightly behind the receiver and on his outside hip. You don't want to get five or six yards to the inside, five or six yards directly behind, or five or six yards inside, because if you do that, it's going to get picked. And the last thing you want is a DB turning around on the outside of the field, picking it off, going back the other way for a touchdown. And that is what happens if you fail. So this is something that's going to require a, a high level of mastery, a lot of repetition, and I'm actually going to show you a couple ways to counter it as well uh, to, to account for it if somebody is doing this to you. But you can see right here, the, the way that you do this is you're going to throw that back shoulder on that receiver's back hip and try to throw it in a spot where the DB is unable to turn around and make a play on it. We'll go ahead and do it again. This can be done against off man coverage or zone coverage that doesn't have a buzz zone underneath it. I particularly like it against uh, cover four where there's seam flats and those seam flats are going to match the running back out of the backfield and I like it against cover two where you can get open in that cover two window between the corner and the safety. But what you're going to see is that the more we play this, you're going to see that it's it's a it's a pretty easy throw to make against off coverage. But there's a number of ways that they can stop this. The first way is simply put, call two man under. Just call two man under, get that trail technique on the field. And then when I try to make that throw, the DB is in a perfect back pocket area and he's gonna be in a perfect spot to pick it off. Now right there, that was honestly fluke. That's a terrible throw. It's gonna get picked off, especially as the better items come out in ultimate team. Uh, it will get picked off in regs the majority of the time too. So I'll go ahead and throw it again against two man under. You're gonna see this is not the throw, not the place you wanna live. That DB is in, in place even the deep zone is able to get over and help it out. Now, speaking of zone help, let's talk about buzz zones. Buzz zones are the easiest way to take this away. Let's say that uh, we have, um, let's, just, let's just do this. Let's put this outside player into a deep third to simulate cover three with a buzz zone inside helping him out. All right, so now what we're gonna do is try to throw this against a buzz zone and watch what Sean Lee does. He gets underneath of it so much that I have to wait so far downfield to throw it that the DB is able to turn around and make a perfect play on the ball. So now you could call cover three with a buzz zone to take it away, making it a little bit less valuable. I think where it is valuable is when you're in that scenario where you need chunks of yardage quick, you can't beat quarters three deep for a one play touchdown, and they're playing off coverage on the outside. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. You've got the out off coverage. I can just wait, throw it on the back hip. Now we're able to pick up about 20 yards. And that'll get your opponent out of that quarters three deep and allow you to run your, your base offense. Now, clearly, we've shown the man press, we've shown the buzz zone, we've shown a number of ways that we can counter this. Another way that you can honestly counter this is just running a, a blitz. You can blitz this because target passing is such a difficult thing to do that when pressure gets in your quarterback's face, unless you can get that ball out super quick, the pressure gets on you to a point where you're not able to get this pass off. So there's like three ways that you can counter this. It's not something that's overpowered. There's a number of ways that on defense you can account for this without committing your whole defense to it. It's literally only useful in off man coverage or zone where there's no buzz zone. So hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. Make sure that you practice this before going into a game because I promise you, if you try to do this without any practice, you're gonna throw a pick six and it's gonna cost you ball games. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful. Make sure to like and subscribe for more Madden 18 content and check out maddenpros.com where we will be releasing an offensive and defensive game plan this week.